Now, if you're fed up with getting through to foreign call centres when you ring your local bank, you might be interested to know the message has got through to one bank, Santander. It's bringing its call centres back to the UK. The Spanish banking group, which took over Abbey and then added Bradford and Bingley and Alliance and Leicester to its stable, has just completed a project to bring the work back to the UK, hiring 500 staff in the process. For the last eight years, the bank's call centres have been based in India. Well, let's speak to Chris Roebuck, who's an international banking expert. Hello there, Chris. Now, Hi. is this uh, a publicity stunt, uh, really due to hard commercial reasons, or is the bank really listening to its customers? It's a combination of, of all three, and, and it's certainly fair to say that the banks originally moved everything out there uh, in a response to a, a drive to save money. Uh, but what they forgot was one of the most basic tenets of, of good customer service, that actually your customers like to be served by people they can relate to, by people that are similar to them. Uh, that's why you know French banks have French people providing their service, etc., across the world. And what they found was that it was worth doing it whilst actually the costs were so low, even though there may have been a few complaints. But now, because of the, the growth of, of pay in India, the cost saving that they were making is getting smaller. And when you look at the number of complaints, it just made sense to bring the jobs back to UK. Do you think other banks will follow suit? Well, a number of them have actually followed suit already, uh, and indeed a, a number of organisations that do provide uh, service to people online for uh, internet sales and that sort of thing. The interesting thing, though, however, is that there is a reverse trend, which is that certain institutions are moving administrative services from UK out to India, where those services do not require those people to actually speak to customers. So the concept that actually now all of those jobs that went to India are coming back to UK is not quite right because there are a few that are going out to India as those jobs come back. Just very briefly, do complaints about call centres mm. top the list of complaints with regard to banks? Well, I, I think one of the one of the problems is that, that we've all experienced uh, that actually, if you don't have enough people in your call centre uh, to answer the demands of the calls at peak times, one of the most frustrating things we can experience is that we think we're on the line listening to uh, some unfortunate music until the end of our lives before we get a response. And when the waiting time starts going over five, six minutes, then your customers are starting to get annoyed and they may look elsewhere. Absolutely. Well, Chris Roebuck, thanks very much Thank for talking you. to us about those developments. Now, let's take a quick look at the markets. The 